All right. I explained this a little bit too technical yesterday, um, but I'm going to give you a, a really good reason to be excited about this. Basically, all extraction that has to do with qualification, in-calling, in both web calling, inbound, outbound, whatever it may be, can now be done post-call and automatically map for you. You don't need to do a post-call webhook. You don't need to do a tool call. You can leave your tool calling for the appointment booking and things like that, and then let this do the hard work for you. I'm going to give you an example here. Right, so I'm gonna go to my call settings and let's do um, for the post call webhook. I'll show you the new object where you can push that through. I have an inbound webhook URL here, and I just initialize a new post call webhook. And by the way, this is automatically mapped and sent in the post call webhook, just so you know, just in case you're doing a third party service. Um, let's go ahead and initialize this. This is gonna be sent, and I'm gonna go here and let's map. And you can see it is now an extractions object. So now we can pull all of this stuff post call. The even better part is you don't even have to do it. Um, that's just if you're going outside the system. So you click on this post called data extraction. You can now create data extraction. So if I say, um, I don't know, customer um, pricing, I don't know. And if you don't know what type to select here, just do string. The basic rundown is this is just like text. This is true, false, saying yes or no. And then this is like a number. Um, you give it a description. So like the pricing of the customers slash users product or service. And then we just map this to whatever custom field we have here. I don't know, something like that, right? And there you go. So I have a couple here. I have lifetime value, which is the lifetime value of the user. Um, and I can even get a little bit more technical here. Lifetime value of the users, customers. And the business name, the user's business name. And I already have one there, so that's fine. These two right here, which are mapped to custom fields. All right. So that's the data analysis. Now, if I save changes here, also with the um, new orb update, things like that, um, this this stuff should be coming through a little bit um, a little bit better. So let's go to our main page here and let's do a call where I'm just going to spit off my business name, my customer's lifetime value. I'm not going to make a call any tools. I'm going to hang up and let's see if it fills to my contact there. All right, let me do this slide. Hey, Jordan, it's Haley from Assistable. I'm excited to chat. Can you tell me a bit about your business and what you're working on lately? Hey, are you able to hear me? I can't actually hear you, but I'm all ears for anything you type out here, Jordan. What's your business all about? Uh, no worries. I just wanted to let you know my business name was Assistable AI, and that's Assistable.ai. And... Um, and the lifetime value of our customers is traditionally 3200 to 4000 So it averages out maybe 3500 bucks. Thanks for sharing that, Jordan. So I'm going to end the call. I don't have any tool calls there. Now let's go here where I have these custom values mapped to, um, I think it's LTV here, and then business name slash account name there. Maybe if I refresh the page here, we come back to this data. We have a call that just finished or mapped LTV 3500, business name, assistable AI. <clears throat> there's nothing I had to do. There's no post call webhook. There's no tools being called. So this is why this is very exciting. Make all of your extractions easy on yourself, at least for calling here on the post call. Um, do this. Leave your tool calling to the more complex stuff like appointment booking, leave that context window that uh, because tools are a hefty sum of text that go into a model save those for the important things let this do the custom field mapping for you super super easy so there you go